Sean Shaver 1000 here. Today we're going to be putting together this little stand. Just a little thing. Doesn't look like there's much to it. I'm doing it up here on the table because my back is still killing me. But Monkey waited on this to come in. She was so excited. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together for her. Uh, like I said, doesn't look like there's too much to it. I know the lighting's not that great in here, guys, but that's why I'm a YouTuber and not a filmmaker, right? So let's go ahead and let's get started on this thing. Pretty, it's pretty easy. So, um, yeah, let's get this put together for. Okay guys, so this is pretty easy. Just got a few parts. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but she noticed there's something inside that and those don't come off. So I don't know what I don't know what would be in there. I can't get it out, so I don't know. So here's the instructions. There's really one, two, three, four, five steps. Um, seven if you're going to attach it to a wall. Um, we're not going to be attaching it to any wall. There's no room in there. Um, she's got a little uh, a little stand which was okay. Just one of those cheap little one of those little black stands that's on wheels. It just wasn't what they were needing. So she bought this for her. Um, so she can put her things in and stuff like that, her hairbrush and whatnot. Um, so we're just going to get this out of the bag right now. Uh, I'll set this over here. I did go through this. Everything's here. They actually, I think they gave me more screws than what it calls for. So that's good. Set that in there for now. But yeah, I can't do this on the ground, guys, because I just I can't get down on the floor. And so hopefully this will be all right for you guys. Because I mean, if you got one of these, maybe it'll help you. But it's not so much a how-to again because I mean I don't know how many of you guys have these and this is pretty easy to do alright so I got all the white fluffies on me now alright so I should have got something new for these like I said I, I checked every everything's all here <clears throat> So the first thing we're going to do is, looks like we're going to stand these up, and we're going to put these bars on here. That'll be the first step. Okay, so, and it looks like it takes the number six screw, which will be this long one. They give you a little tool in here, too. Uh, so I'm going to need four of these. See, they gave me five. And that's good. It was like $62, she said. So we're going to stand this up. <clears throat> Great. Ugh. Shit. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to. Yeah, okay. So it looks like it goes like this. I'm going to do this here and then I'll stand it up. So we're going to stick this through here. Then it just screws up into the bottom of that. Yeah. Like that. I'll show you. Just kind of. Like that. Only it's going to be. Here I'll show you the other one. That goes on like that, and then that's threaded, and this just goes up inside like that. So, um, this one's not wanting to start very easy. So, always if it doesn't, take it out, 
because sometimes the paint this one doesn't seem like it has a lot of paint but it doesn't want to start either see so let's go ahead and start it here and make sure that it's not cross threading you know workmanship I've said it before workmanship just it's not what it used to be guys it's you know they don't check them they just put these things together and roll them out and then you end up with stuff like this that doesn't want to screw in right you should be able to put all these screws in by hand you know what I mean okay so now see it's still tight coming back out and it's not cross threaded it's just you know the way it, that this hole was tapped out you know quality <laughs> yeah see you shouldn't have to do this first you should just be able to start it in there and go with it you know not really sure what you would call this thing I guess it's just a stand now I'm not going to tighten this yet I'm still going to leave it a little loose so that way if it's got to move a little bit I can move it now this one Okay, I'm seeing stickers on here, so that's good. Because you can always peel them off. Um, so I am seeing stickers one, two. You know, this is uh, number four, so this is four. And it corresponds, see, the number four, two pieces. I don't know if you can see that right there. So everything's labeled. Um, that's good. I like that. See, this one's going in a lot easier. You should be able to screw all that stuff in by hand, you know. All right. <clears throat> Man. Make sure I got it the right way. That's the right way. Go ahead. This over here. And then the top, I've got the top over. Where is the top? Over there, I think. Yeah, there's the top I'm looking at. And then we'll get the top on before we tighten everything up. See, we're doing the same thing down here. And what they do when they build these, they just put them in jigs and it just gets tack welded. Usually by a, um, yeah, this one's still, usually by a robot type deal. So that's why nothing ever like seems to fit the way it should. Okay, so there's that. Now let's, I'm gonna try to just spin this around and put the top on. Oh. <clears throat> this is nice. Nice top there. Now this will take the uh, four shorter screws. It should be these here. And they gave me seven of those. Yeah, this is my back again. I think this time it was when we was messing around with the fuel pump on the Corvette. Because, you know, those hoods are heavy. Um, you got raised up. The, uh, got, you guys know the, there's some little shocks, like, that are on the back of your left gate on your SUVs or whatever. It's got, like, one big one of those up front on the hood. 
and it should it's supposed to like help you it's not going to lift itself up but it's supposed to assist you and it's and it doesn't so you got to manually lift the whole front end of that car you know and to me it doesn't seem that heavy until like the next day and then it's like oh my goodness now there's some holes here and those holes are huge look at that all right well let's turn this this way <laughs> Technically, it's really almost done. <laughs> uh, we got to put the feet in the bottom. She thought it had wheels. It don't. And I asked her, I said, she said, it's supposed to have wheels. I said, is it supposed to have wheels? Or did you just look at a picture and thought it looked like wheels? She said, well, I just looked at the picture and thought it looked like wheels. So she was honest with me. I said, well, that's not their fault. So, yeah, see, this is... It's not going in hard, but you, you can't screw it in with your fingers. And I don't like that. You know, being an auto tech all my life, it's just I'm so used to if something don't go in, there's a problem. You know what I mean? Insert joke there. <laughs> Doesn't help my have feeling in my right hand and I'm right-handed. Great. Okay, there we go. That one started. Alright, now let's uh, flip it over this way and we'll get the other two started and then we'll start tightening. I'm just going to go in the next pattern. It's not the space shuttle, just what I'm used to on cars and stuff, you know. You just get into a habit of doing that, and that's what I do. See this one the same way. It's going in straight. It's just going in harder than what I like. Like I say, these weld joints, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It's just a little tack of weld, man. Alright. All right, I'll just fast forward you through this part. All right, now we're gonna put the feet on. Let's move this out of the way. Whoops. Break that light monkey will kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to adjust it. Well, she can adjust it once she puts it where she wants. It's just those little legs. These things. Whenever I have anything extra like that, I always th save and put my bins in there. I've got bins for different screws and stuff, so. Yeah, she put two of them together. So. Take these out. These are just, flip them out. Drop your little thing down in. It's got a little pull here. Right there. That's the, if you want to pull that out, you can. So. Right. Uh, messing one of these. I wonder if she put two in one by accident. Okay. No. No, that's right. How many is it? Yeah, there's four. Okay, we got them. Alright. Now. I'm going to stand this up over here. I'm going to put these in. 
and we'll see what it looks like. Alright guys, so there it is. All done. Nothing to it. It, uh, like I said, they want you to hook it to a wall, but there's no space in there for her to hook it to a wall, so. You just gotta be able to hold on to it. That one does fit snug, but it's not a drawer. You know, you're gonna have, when you use these, you know, it's made to take out because, you know, it's not gonna stay in there like a drawer does. You know, if you pull it out like that and you got stuff in there, it'll fall out, but. Like I said, she's not gonna put clothes. She's gonna have different little things. Like I said, her hairbrush and whatnot can go in there. So, there you go. It's kind of cool. There's two holes in the back, one on each side, in case you do want to put it into a wall. And if you do, all it is, just a couple little anchors here and a couple screws. Not a big deal. So, there you guys go. <coughs> so, had to sit down. All right. Well, here, let me bring you up here. Monkey's been doing a lot of spring cleaning since she's got a little time. Um, so, I mean, you know, she lost that one job because of that wreck. Well, she lost the job because of the first wreck, and then this last wreck, she lost another job because of it. So, she's got some time. Uh, to do a little bit of stuff so she's doing some stuff here and there and, uh doing some spring cleaning so all right guys <coughs> excuse me i know lighting <laughs> again i'm a youtuber not a filmmaker i'm not a movie maker <laughs> all right that's it nothing to it i just wanted to share it with you you know throw a video up video up for you guys i do have a couple interesting ones coming up uh one of them is our little orb friend on the uh on the ring camera it came back okay uh we're gonna do something about well not about that because there's nothing i can do about it we're gonna do something about the video in the video about what you know we're gonna take it off together <clears throat> we're gonna take the cover off of that uh the doorbell itself and the camera and we're going to see if there's any kind of signs any bugs in there that could have done that but and then uh got something else that happened with uh you know that little puck woman that talks to us only it was a guy that was talking to us this time it wasn't her so just a couple of fun uh, videos for you coming up so stay tuned thanks for watching guys appreciate it thanks for supporting my channel uh, just watching the video, you know, is really, really a big help, and I, I do appreciate it. So, um, thanks again, guys. We'll see you soon. Check, don't, don't forget to visit Monkey 1000's channel and check her out. We'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna look for some Tylenol. Where's the Tylenol? We'll see you guys. Bye bye, and take care.